Okay, I have an update. Um, my website, sallybook.com, I was able to get both my books on there for free, and it's a PDF, so if you go to sallybook.com, you can uh, basically download the PDF. There's a Kindle version also, but it's not ready yet. And um, also, when you download the PDF, make sure you save the file within the PDF. Don't go to File, Save As. There's a little uh, link over to the right, right next to the print option. It'll say download. Make sure you do it from there, or else if you save it the other way, it'll save as like a Firefox web document, and you don't want that. So you can save it onto your desktop, read it at your leisure. And um, I just finished the second book uh, a couple days ago, the final edit. And listen, I wrote the first book back in 2005. I didn't write the second book until 2013 because I didn't feel led of God, and that's a lot of work. And I wanted to make sure that it was something that was right. The Lord confirmed it to myself and my wife that he wanted me to start writing that book, and I started writing about four months ago, and I finished. So basically, that book has revelation for the church that God wants the church to consider. It is a very important revelation. I now see why God wanted me to write this book. Um, it's his will. Just like when I did that video series on Elijah, the final Elijah, it wasn't my idea. I had that revelation for over a year, and I had no plans on publishing it, but the Lord told me to publish it, so I did. The same with this book. The Lord told me to publish this revelation. He said, do it, and I obeyed him. You know, I don't know about you, but it's not that fun to sit, sit around and write a 94,000-word novel that you're going to give away for free and maybe never see any money for. So that should give you an indication. This was not by me. This was the Lord's will. And I obeyed him and I did it. There are 50 pages of prophecy in the second novel, Sally Captivity. Okay? The chapters are chapter 7, chapter 8, and chapter 9. They're all prophecy sections. Chapter 7 deals with spiritual Israel and physical Israel, as opposed to, you know, physical Israel... How come they missed salvation? How come things didn't happen? And basically what, what, what went on back then. Okay, chapter 8 talks about Revelation 13. The mark of the beast, the image of the beast, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. It talks about the book of Revelation, Daniel, a lot of other scriptures in there. That's chapter 8. Chapter 9 solidifies the speculation in chapter 8. That can never be proven, just like I can't prove you Jesus was really God. There's some things that will never be proven, but... I do the best that I can in chapter 9 to really formulate what God has shown me to make chapter 8 make sense, okay? It's based on the idea that 666 equals computer. And that's on page, on, in the book, Style of Captivity, on page 67. I'm giving you all this information so you don't have to read the whole novel. You know, I'm giving this away for free. And there absolutely is prophecy in the church. That's why I'm giving away for free. That's why God has led me to do this, because it's prophecy for the church. And page 67 talks about the 666 equals computer. You can go on YouTube and watch some clips so you know what I'm talking about. Um, basically that. And like I said, chapter 7, chapter 8, and chapter 9 are the prophecy sections. Okay? 8 is the most important section, then 9, and then 7. So I've given it to you for free. I've done a ton of work. It's taken me years. Um, there was a girl back at Pepperdine University when I was going for my English degree, and she was the one who told me that missionaries came to her church all the way back in the early 90s, and they told her church 666 equals computer. She then told me, this was all the way back in 1995, almost 18 years ago, I've been holding her for 18 years, asking God what he wants me to do with it. What is, how does he want me to proceed? 18 years later, we got our answer. I wrote this second book, and it's based on that. Okay? So, it's very important information. You have to consider it. The Lord showed me as clear as day that this information was not just about candy knowledge or some kind of thing to think about. The church will be deceived in the end if they don't get this. You will be completely deceived. The information I give in this prophecy section has to be understood and wrestled with. You have to discern these things. And the Lord showed me. He showed me the reason he spoke about deception in Matthew chapter 24. And the reason he spoke about deception, and he even gave his revelation to John on the Isle of Patmos 
regarding the image of the beast. The reason he did all those things is because this information is critical so the church will not be deceived. You cannot think it's just the Antichrist. You have to consider what I've written. And you have to mull it over because if you are focused on the Antichrist, you're going to miss it. And you're going to be ripe for deception because you're not going to have any answers. The Antichrist and the false prophet are going to completely beguile you. You have to see beyond that. And this revelation does that. And the Lord has shown me that it's true and it's going to work. Okay, But it has to be considered. When you download it, you can share this book with your friends, family members. Tell them to read the prophecy sections. Tell them to consider the prophecy sections. Get this stuff out there. It is very critical to get this stuff out there. There was a reason I wrote this book. It wasn't for my doing. I knew this revelation. I didn't need to share it with myself. It's because the Lord wanted this done. And please be disciplined. I'm asking you for the first time to be disciplined and be willing to read up to 50 pages of prophecy so that you can be aware. I've done a ton of work and it's been very difficult for me to do this, okay? Just be willing to read this stuff so that you can really receive it. You're not going to find it anywhere else, I very much doubt. So be disciplined. I know it's easier to watch a video, but it's not coming in video form. It is staying in the PDF. And if you want it, you're going to have to search. You're going to have to be willing to do the hard work and read it and really digest it so that you really understand what Christ is saying to you. Christ will honor you as you read it and as you honor him. Because trust me, he was the one who instructed me to write this. So I can almost guarantee you he wants you to consider it.